As the show continues here at the Five O'Clock Lounge in Belfast, I'm talking now to Charlie McGettigan. Wonderful show, Charlie. Thanks a million. It's really nice to be here. I haven't been in Belfast for a couple of years now. Been in to do radio and television and stuff like that, but I haven't done an actual gig. And I have to say, say the, the people here at the show now were absolutely cool. They were great people, weren't they? Yes, uh, uh, great. one of the most attractive audiences I, I think we've seen all year. Easy, I'd say all night, even, <laughs> you know, without a doubt. Easily the best audience we've seen tonight, and, uh, you know. <laughs> Brilliant. Charlie, you're obviously famous for winning the Eurovision Song Contest for Ireland. What led to you being chosen to represent Ireland in the Song Contest? Well, Brendan Graham wrote Rock and Roll Kids, mm -hmm. and he um, originally, I did a demo of it for him, and kind of a Don Williams kind of, you know, I remember 62, and it didn't really work. Hmm. But about a year later, he came to me with, with this, another version that was done by a man called Paul Harrington with just a piano. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah, that's the one. And he put it in, and it turned out he put it into the Eurovision, and I was one of the judges on the mm -hmm. show. And it, it, because I was on the judge, judges, mm -hmm. I had to say, well, I know Brendan, I know the song, I've heard it before, and the song didn't get through. Nice. And then the following year, he put it in, and he asked me what I, what I do back and forth was play a bit of guitar yes. with Paul on it. And that formula seemed to work, mm -hmm. uh, and it got through. We couldn't believe it. It was a laugh a minute because we were two old, we, I call us two old fossils, the two of us, like everybody else was about 18. Uh -huh. We were in our 40s. Uh -huh. and, uh, but it was a great, we, we laughed our way through it. We were never nervous because we played it live. It was just a piano, a vocal, yeah. two, a, a, two vocals and a guitar. So it was never the same twice, you know, mm -hmm. and we used to give the poor producer of the television program nightmares because <laughs> it, never was, it, it was never sung in the same way. There was yeah. always something different to be put into it. And even to this day, whenever we get together, we still do it differently every time. So what happened then after Eurovision and the success of Rock and Roll Kids? We recorded, Paul and myself recorded an album, and um, you know, we had a great year. It lasts about a year. Mm. Now the fame never goes, particularly down south, because you're always, you're always um, going to be... I remember funny things happened as well. I remember the, 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 the first week after we, we won, I was walking down the street in Galway and I was mobbed for the first time, <laughs> surrounded by about 1,500 females. Now there wasn't one of them under 60, but I didn't care, you know, they were mine and, and I loved them. You know, but at the end of it, we, sort of, we were signing autographs in the middle of the street, you know, and eventually there was one woman left there and she said, would you sign this free please? And I said, oh sure, and I'm signing. She says, who are you anyway? You know, it was that, that kind of thing. People in Ireland bring you back down to where, you know. It could have been worse. They might have, like Tom Jones, they might have asked you, you know, to sign knickers yeah, yeah. and things like that, you know. No, I, I'm, not good, I'm not good with knickers, really, you know. Uh, uh, they're very hard to write on. I don't know if they've ever tried to write felt on knickers. Felt-tip pens. Felt-tip pens. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to go into the details of that. No. So well, what's on the horizon? Any, any big plans in well, the near future? I've just secured a, a record deal with a German record company who, who want to bring all my, my my back catalogue mm -hmm. out and uh, they're bringing an album out in the new year. Um, I have to record it over in Germany mm -hmm. because um, a lot of my songs had full production mm -hmm. but they want to do them in a, an acoustic way uh, right. with just maybe a, a, a double bass, piano, guitar, vocal yeah. and, and do them. Sometimes the simple, yeah. uh, simple way is, is the best way. Yeah.
time the leaves are brown, I'll be blue. Well, I thought that we might make it to December, and that Christmas time would have helped to pull us through. But I know that we won't even make November. And by the time the leaves are brown, I'll be blue. Yes, by the time the leaves are brown. It's been lovely having you here tonight, Charlie. It was a wonderful show. Lawrence, thanks and for having us. Really, we'll look forward to seeing you again at some time. Okay. Okay. Thanks Thank a million. You.